Gina, a 28-year-old property surveyor from Liverpool, found out she and her husband Gary were expecting. They were over the moon. They had always talked about having kids. While it wasn't a completely planned pregnancy, it was a welcome surprise. Nonetheless, it really was the best kind of surprise. This was our first pregnancy, Gina recalled with a smile. Things were good. We were in a good place in our lives with our finances and everything, and we were ready to bring a baby into the equation. Gary agreed, saying, I've always wanted to be a dad. I love a good challenge. And raising a kid of your own has got to be one of the biggest challenges, right? So Gina booked herself in for a scan at the hospital. What they found was absolutely astounding. Gina was pregnant with not one, but three babies, triplets, all of them boys. She and Gary were shocked. They had never had so much as twins in their family before, never mind triplets. It was totally a bolt out of the blue. But again, they chose to see it as a good and exciting thing. It would be tricky having three babies, but it would be three times as rewarding too. Now let's take a moment to look at the chances of having more than one baby. Most pregnancies result in one child being born. That's pretty much standard, but the chances of having twins in a natural pregnancy are about one in 250, and the chances of having triplets jump up significantly to one in 10,000. So already Gina was defying the odds, but that's absolutely nothing compared to the one in 200 million events happening inside her body at that very moment. While the doctors were giving Gina her scan, they also noticed something else something that gave them cause for concern. Unwilling to share the news with the parents, they instead held on to what they had found, preferring to double and triple check the facts. There was no need to worry the parents prematurely. We never usually withhold information from parents at their scans, said one of the doctors, but we didn't want to cause any sort of concern or worry before we were in possession of the full facts. It was a case of measure twice, cut once, Gina and Gary returned home and continued with their preparations. They had three times the amount of food, clothes, bedding, furniture, and a whole load of other things to buy. For someone who had never had children before, the pregnancy went fairly smoothly. Having not one but three babies growing inside you can be a real strain on the body. But Gina was healthy and strong. However, she never found out what the doctor saw during the first scan. All through her pregnancy, she attended regular scans and checkups, but not once was the shocking secret passed on to her. Whether it was through negligence or miscommunication, she remained blissfully unaware of the odds-defying secret within her. Closer to her due date, she started to have some unusual pains and spotty bleeding. While doctors advised her that this was pretty natural for a mother carrying triplets, she still remained a little concerned. It was at that point that Gina got her first inkling that things might not be going completely to plan with the pregnancy. But even then, she could never have guessed the secret hidden within her own body. The day of the birth finally came, and Gina was rushed into the hospital one late morning. While she had elected to go for a natural birth, that is, birth via the vaginal canal, doctors strongly recommended a cesarean section as this had less chance of being harmful to both Gina and the triplets. Slightly crestfallen, she agreed, anything for the safety of her babies. But as she was being prepped for surgery, the doctors finally revealed the secret of what they saw at the initial scan. The triplets were all sharing one single placenta. It's one of the rarest complications possible, especially when it comes to triplets. And to Gina's horror, it caused some real life-threatening issues. I had no idea what it meant for my boys to have a shared placenta, Gina said, remembering back to the moment of finding out the news. It didn't sound too serious, but the doctors all seemed pretty worried about it. And that definitely worried Gary and me. But at that point, I was being prepared to go down to surgery, so I couldn't ask all these questions that were swirling around in my head. So before we find out what happens next, let's take a peek at the science behind this incredible miracle. When a baby is conceived, it grows inside something called a placenta, a protective kind of sac that provides them with a lot of nutrients and a steady blood flow as it grows. Usually doctors would expect to see each of the triplets with their own individual placenta. This is called the chorionic presentation. But when babies share a single placenta, they have to share the nutrients and blood supply evenly amongst them. A monochorionic placenta is extremely rare, with less than 0.05% of babies having to share like this. But a single placenta in triplets is all but unheard of, 
and no other cases have ever been documented. When you combine the chances of having triplets with the chances of the baby sharing the placenta, the odds are absolutely astronomical. There are dangers, though. In a shared placenta, one child may absorb more of the blood and nutrients needed for growth and development. This could leave the other child underdeveloped, which could be especially dangerous when there are three babies involved. It can cause life-threatening complications. Gina was rushed to surgery for her babies to be born via cesarean section. She was eager to discover if all three of the babies were all right, and doctors were equally keen to get them out safely. They needed to be sure each of the children had gotten their fair share of blood and nutrients. But as the babies were cut from their shared placenta and removed from their mother's body, their worst fears were realized. It soon became clear that one of the boys was weaker than the other two. The weaker baby was quickly taken to a special care baby unit where immediate life-saving attention was given to him. Gina and Gary were understandably nervous, yet they had to be strong for the sake of the other two babies. Would this third baby live or die? That remained to be seen. The chances weren't looking too good. Doctors battled to stabilize the weaker baby, who was going into shock after the arduous birthing process. Not only is it a trauma for the mother, but it's also a trauma for the baby, especially when as weak as this third triplet. They provided oxygen and an infusion of all important vitamins and nutrients. Then he was transferred to a special care unit for babies. But he wasn't out of the woods yet. There was a chance that he would suffer permanent and debilitating brain damage due to the lack of blood that he received while developing. It was just a matter of waiting to see how he coped over the first few days and weeks of his life. While he was under constant care, specialists did all in their power to help him. But specialists still gave him a 40% chance of surviving. No. One of the pediatricians who looked after the baby said, his oxygen levels were very low and he needed a constant supply to keep it flowing through his body. Additionally, his tiny heart was slightly underdeveloped and couldn't handle the correct amount of blood it needed. Things really looked bad for a while. He was in the hospital for three months when suddenly things changed. Not for the worse, but for the better. He became strong enough to finally be released and reunited with the other two triplets. Gina and Gary's family were finally whole. He was the little boy that could, and together the triplets are a terrific trio of miracle babies that defied all the odds every single step of the way. Sam, how would you have felt if you were the mother of the triplets? I'm really keen to know your thoughts, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video with your friends and family to spread the enjoyment. And take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.